hi guys welcome to the another video of node express mongodb tutorial series in this video we are going to be talking about middlewares but this time it's about the params middleware earlier we talked about the middlewares uh, uh, to be applied to a particular routing structure that uh, any route starting from api slash nodes uh, any route starting from oh uh, one last thing that i forgot to do last time in the video is to i need to add the users here so api slash users this is uh, this has to be updated so i was talking about the um, middleware so now let's come back and uh, let's say that i want to restrict uh one or multiple ids to perform any such operations like updating deleting getting a node by an id so how can i do that there is there are multiple ways but uh, and one way is to add the middleware and restrict that particular id for that node okay uh, so first of all let's try to add a middleware directly in this file then we will move the logic outside it move in the controller okay so let's say that i want to have a nodes router dot and i could use the use function for uh, adding the middleware but i can have the param as well so I want to add the any route that contains the param ID. Uh, this middleware should be applied to all those routes. Okay. Within the nodes router, not on the user's router because we are using the nodes router. So ID and the second params gives us a callback function, which gives us a request response next and the value value is to check if the id contains which value it can be four five six or anything so let's say that if the value is uh let's say i'm in the postman and uh, i mean i want to check if the id is four five six then i don't want it to be updated or deleted or uh, I, I, do, I want it to not to be accessed using this particular ID. So if I want to say if value is equals to 456, then I just want to return something. Okay. So response.send this ID is restricted. Okay. And then next. So this line return response dot send is not going to let uh, any of the second controller or a function to be executed because this is going to just send the response to the client. Okay, so let's try to run the server node server dot js. Okay, so it's running now i'm going to get this node by id first of all let's try to get it by one two three i can access it now let's try to do it with four five six four five six send and yeah i can actually get it uh let's move here and uh, let's try to log the value okay so let's see let's try to rerun the server send and now you can see that it has printed four five six uh maybe it is a string so i'm just going to remove one equals to sign okay so let's rerun the server let's go send and now you can see that the this id is restricted means that this has been triggered and the issue was because the value is a string and we were trying to add it with the uh, integer okay so now uh, if we want to test it with something else let's say 
like delete note and I'm going to change the ID 456 send this ID is restricted means that we cannot delete this particular node let's try to update it so 456 send this ID is restricted and all other IDs we can actually uh, use to delete update or fetch one particular node okay so let's try to optimize it I'm going to uh, use it outside I'm going to move it outside so I'm going to copy notes controller paste and uh, I'm going to write export dot restrict ID equals to this okay so just remove this line and remove here so I have added this over here let's remove the console log it's not required it was just for testing and now let's come back here and here params and now I can fetch that particular function restrict ID and place the restrict ID over here okay so now we have added this middleware on a particular ID and whatever logic we want to add over here it will be applied it's not just to restrict an ID it can be anything so let's rerun the server and test it again if it's working fine let's move let's try to update yeah it's working so get notes will still be working right and get one note will not be working <clears throat> let's try to fetch one two three yes this is one we can get but not the four five six so this is how we can add a middleware for a particular params in the next video we are going to be talking about how to expose static folders let's say that if we have the html files in our server inside any folder let's say the assets folder or a public folder that we have over here and uh, in those folders there are multiple html files and we want to have a separate route for those html files let's say slash overview.html slash uh, index.html slash reviews.html then we can expose that also we'll be talking about how we can configure our environment variables for development environment for the production environment as well so let's move to the next video